The boss is thirsty. See, she doesn't know how to drink water without dunking her entire face into it. Like she's just inhaling the water. So I have been sitting here for literally three minutes while she drinks water. Soon she'll fall asleep. I guarantee you the slumber won't last for long though because as soon as I start opening food, she'll be here right next to me awake and present. I think she's done. She looks a little bit cranky. <laughs> that was the look of death. Whoa. Hi. She heard me talking about her. She is not happy, but you know what? Just shows you how dedicated I am to doing this. I am risking life and limb with a killer chihuahua who's ready for nap time and is about to be disturbed yet again by me opening snack bags. So, wish me luck. The boss is currently getting settled and drifting off into her slumber, so welcome to Snacks Around the World, where I open up one of my snack boxes that has been picked for me from a specific location and I taste test everything in the box. Now, if this is your first time here, hello. I'm Gretchen, the tipsy travel gal. I am a licensed esthetician and a travel agent. It is my goal to eat, drink, and spa my way around the world, taking you with me. Along the way, I'm hoping to show you some really cool and interesting things, some natural wonders, and of course, a lot of delicious food and drink. Now, if this is something that interests you, please subscribe to my channel because there's a lot more of this content to come. If you want to learn a little bit more about me, you can go to my GoFundMe page where I explain my journey and how I got to where I'm at and what I'm trying to do next. I will include that link in the description below. But it's time to get eaten because today's snack box is from Greece. Ordinarily, I line things up from like things I'm not as excited to try as things I can't wait to try. This box, everything looks so delicious. Well, there's one exception, but we'll we'll get to it when we get to it. So instead, I decided to rotate it between salty and sweet um, to kind of give myself a little break in between snacks. I've got a delicious beverage here to uh, cleanse my palate in between snacks. So off we go. Let's just get this out, this one out of the way. The first item I'm picking out of my box is the prickly pear lukumi. Now this is essentially Turkish delight. Now you're probably wondering what is Turkish delight doing in a box from Greece, and that is because Greece used to be part of the Ottoman Empire. So yeah, they have a lot of things in common, including some of their foods, and Turkish delight is one of them. Now I am not a fan of Turkish delight. I'm just not. I've tried it on numerous occasions. It's just not my thing. That being said, I'm always here with an open mind. I'm willing to try anything. And I gotta say, prickly pear, also known as cactus fruit, is absolutely delicious. So I'm excited to try the cactus fruit lukumi. But we'll see because I just... Turkish light just isn't my thing, but let's get this open. Funny thing is that I have a box from Turkey over there that um, I also need to do the taste the taste test on, and I kind of gave it a look, and there's a lot of Turkish delight in there. So, I'm going to open up the bag here. All right, so here it is. The powder's getting all over the place, so I'm just going to eat it. I mean, here's the thing. It's not bad. It's just I don't care for this kind of candy. And I, I really don't like all the powder that's on this. <laughs> I will say this. If you like Turkish Delight, this is delicious. And if you like cactus, I will say the cactus taste is yummy. I just don't... I mean, I'm going to eat the rest of this piece, but it's just not my thing. If you could only see the mess on my desk that this made, holy schnitzel. That powder is going to be all over everything for the next like week or two. I 
Okay, next up are some Mediterranean bruschetta bites, or as they call it, the bruschettini. Now, I know what you're thinking. Bruschetta is an Italian thing, which it is, but this is based off of a Greek treat called Paximafia, and it is a twice-baked bread. So these are mini breadsticks with tomato, olive, and oregano. Um, so they are Mediterranean flavors, but it's more geared towards Greece. So let's give these a try. Oh, they smell really good. Okay. This is what they look like. It's a little bit on the dry side, but that being said, these definitely don't taste like Italian bruschetta. It's very heavy on the olive and oregano, whereas Italian bruschetta is more heavy on the tomatoes and the balsamic. It's actually really good. I'm just not sure, like if I, this wouldn't be something that I would sit down and eat a whole bag of. Okay, I'm pretty good, I'm gonna have another one. <laughs> Okay, next up is almond curabiatis cookies. Now these are essentially a shortbread cookie. And I'll be honest with you, they look very similar to like almond crescents, which come out of Turkey, um, the crescent for the crescent moon, uh, which in turn probably makes them very similar to like the Mexican wedding cakes and that same type of almond shortbread cookie. So I'm excited about this because it's one of my favorite cookies. Again, this is probably going to make quite the mess. Oh yeah, it's going to make a mess because look at all the powdered sugar in there. Oh Lord help me. I'm actually shocked the boss has not woke up yet for some snacks. Oh my gosh, this just made a horrible mess. Okay, so this is only four cookies. So look at the size of this cookie. <laughs> Here we go. I know it's going to be delicious. I'm just, I mean, what a mess. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm getting incredibly messy, but very delicious. It's a little bit, I actually make almond crescents every year for Christmas. It's a little bit drier than the traditional almond crescent from Turkey. That being said, it's very delicious and unique in its own right. So it's very similar, yet also very different. I definitely would recommend, I, I'm going to eat these with my morning coffee, I think. It's just like, they, they're just crumbling, which, again, doesn't take away from its deliciousness, but boy, is this, man, this is like, oh my God, this is even a bigger mess than the Turkish Delight. Okay, I can honestly say that I hope no more of these snackies have powdered sugar, because it has just created a gigantic mess. Um, yeah, let's move on. Next up are some oregano potato chips. Oregano is called Joy of the Mountain in Greece. It's actually a huge crop in Greece, um, which again, you're probably thinking is an Italian. Well, no, there's a lot of oregano in Greece. So I'm excited to try these. I do enjoy oregano. Oh yeah, these smell good. Here we go. Mm. Yeah, these are good. I mean, I can tell you right now that if, if a regular is not your thing, you will not like these. This does remind me of Italian food because it is like so, I mean, it's overpowering oregano. That being said, the chips themselves are nice and crisp and light. Very tasty. But if you don't like oregano, you probably won't care for these chips. So let's move on to the next one. Next up is a dark chocolate oat orange cookie. So in Greek mythology, there are a lot of stories about golden apples and historians are starting to think that maybe they were actually talking about oranges because there are a lot of oranges in Greece. So I love oatmeal cookies and I do love a nice citrus, especially lemons, limes, and oranges. So I'm excited about this. 
Oh, it smells good. Okay, first up, I can tell you, I absolutely adore the orange Hostess cupcakes. And that's what this smells like. So, I am already excited. And this thing is, wow, this thing is chock full of chocolate. Look at all the chocolate in this. Okay, here we go. This is delicious. Again, look at all the chocolate that's in there. It's like a super chewy oatmeal cookie with big chunks of chocolate. But what surprised me was I was expecting orange flavoring. No, there's like chunks of orange in here. This thing is delicious. I'm going to eat another piece right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not even wrapping that back up. Once I'm done with this video, that's going to be the first thing that I eat. <laughs> what I usually do when I do one of these boxes is I will taste everything, but I don't eat all of one thing because I have a lot of things to try. And then I'll go back and like finish off my favorite things. Yeah, that's going to be the that's going to be number one on the list to eat. <laughs> Now, I've actually run out of salty things to try, so we're going to move on, but it's going to be sweet from here on out. Next up is almond baklava. I was excited to see baklava. If you don't know what baklava is, it's sheets of phyllo with honey and nuts interspersed, and they just keep stacking it up until it makes this delicious, gooey nutty treat. Now here's the thing. Usually when they make baklava, it's made with pistachios and then sometimes with walnuts. So this is something different. I've never tried baklava with almond before. I love almonds. So this is going to be exciting. So let's get this open. Oh, it already smells good. Okay, when we're talking about mess, we're talking, <laughs> it's got honey everywhere. It is like, it's in this cute little container. You can kind of see it, but it's like coated in honey. Ooh, honey is not fun to clean up. Okay, this is a mess. Okay, here we go. Mmm. This is delicious. It's dripping everywhere, though. Okay, I'll put this on pause for a second because I gotta get something to clean all this up with. Okay, that was just a huge mess to clean up. Like, serious huge mess to clean up. As much as I love baklava, I just kind of was reminded why I don't eat it very often. Although, the almond baklava was delicious. So, you won't see me taking another bite of that because, man, that took me a while to get cleaned up. So, yeah, I'm not even quite sure what I'm going to do with the rest of it because I don't want to make another mess. <laughs> Again, that would be actually a really great breakfast treat, so... I don't know, maybe I'll put it in a little baggie and eat it for breakfast. I don't know, but holy crap. That honey got everywhere. So, let's move on. Okay, next up is a pomegranate jelly candy. It's interesting because pomegranates have a very interesting place in Greek mythology. Or I should say pomegranate seeds. See, Persephone, she ate a bunch of pomegranate seeds that... I guess we're belonging to the gods. And she was trapped in Hades for every pomegranate seed that she ate. So I kind of almost feel guilty for eating this. Now, I'll be honest with you. There are many things that I would be willing to go to Hades for eating. Pomegranate seeds are not one of them. Tacos? Yes. Okay, so here is the treat. It's definitely a jelly candy. It's very, it's translucent. Like the light is shining through it, but it's also covered in a very fine coat of that super fine sugar. So here we go. I take it back, Persephone. That is freaking delicious. Oh my God. How many more of these do I have? <laughs> I've got three more. Thank God. That was delicious. I was a little nervous it was going to be another Turkish delight. Um, it is lighter, it is got like a gummy bear, but it's even lighter, and that super fine layer of sugar has this like almost like a dusty crunch to it, and the flavor, man, I bit into that thing, and it was just like delicious, so I take it back, 
I will go to Hades for eating pomegranate seeds. Also tacos, though. Let's move on. Now, you laid there all quiet-like until just now. I'm not sharing any of this candy with you. Okay, next up are Mastic Rose Toffees. This is one of those treats in the box where they were like, you may like this, you may not. It's something completely different. It is made from the resin of the mastic tree. It's supposedly similar to pine. Now, here's the interesting thing. It's a toffee, right? I love toffee. I also love floral candy and floral drinks and floral food. So I'm wondering how this is all going to shake out because I'm really not feeling like eating pine right now, <laughs> but we'll see. Okay, so it is white. It's hard. It's not really flexible at all. So I certainly hope it doesn't break any of my dental work. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Huh. That's an interesting smell. You could smell the rose, but... You can definitely smell like that pine scent in there. Look, let's give it a try. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's not for me. Um, it was really interesting. When I bit into it, I got that lovely rose flavor with like a hint of like pine. And the more I chewed, the more I felt like I was, you know chewing on a Christmas tree. So um, I didn't finish the candy because um, it just wasn't my thing. But you know, I'm going to hold on to these things. I'm going to give them to some friends and see what they think because some people might like it. I just, that just wasn't my bag. Let's move on. Okay, I was actually wrong. I do have something else that's salty slash savory. The boss is up and moving around now. She was asleep. Now she's up and moving around. It's actually, it surprises me. I'm almost done with the box. So I'm, I'm surprised that it took this long to get her up. But I don't know. She must have caught wind of something. But anyway, I do have some salty savory left. This is a basil pesto breadstick bite. I love pesto. So this is going to be interesting. Um, ooh, these smell good. Now, it turns out basil is the herb of the Greek elite. So... I'm eating a, a mini breadstick, months for the gods. Mm-hmm. I can honestly say, out, out of the three, like, savory treats, the uh, bruschettinis, the oregano chips, and these, these are by far my favorite. They are, like, this perfect like crunchy, bready. So the oregano chips were really overwhelming with oregano. Like I bit into it and I was like, oh yeah, oregano. These, that's like a perfect balance between the taste of the breadstick and the basil pesto. It's also got this amazing like salt on it. Those are good. Last but not least, I will admit I saved this for last, is a cream-filled croissant. You're probably trying to figure out why this was in a Greek treat box. I'll admit I was in the same place. So it turns out most Greeks don't eat dinner until 9 p.m. or later, so they really don't have breakfast like people in the United States have breakfast. But what they do like to do is have a late morning snack called a colatio. Apologize if I did not pronounce that word or any of the words, Greek words I've said correctly. I always try. Anyway, it's this type of a delicious treat that they would have. So, I'm very excited about eating this cream-filled croissant. Oh, this smells heavenly. Already, I'm just like, yep, 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 yep. Okay, I'm also excited that it didn't have stuff all over the outside of it. it it's not as crescent-shaped as a regular croissant, but I'm just going to break this thing in half. So you can kind of see the inside, the flakiness of the croissant. 
which that also means that like there's not just cream oozing out of it so it's not going to be like a jelly filled donut or a cream filled donut here we go i was not expecting this so this one has milfoya cream in it and that's basically just like a french pastry cream very basic just vanilla but it almost has like i can tell you this almost has like a cream cheese taste to it this is not a like a french croissant it's very dense it's not terribly flaky the cream really absorbed well into when you look at the picture it shows like like actual cream in there and that's not the case that being said it's not bad it's just not what i was expecting and like i said the the taste is a little bit sharper i thought that when they called it a croissant i thought it was going to be light flaky i thought the cream inside was going to be very light and airy and it says it's almost the exact opposite the croissant is very dense and the cream inside is very heavy and it's got a very sharp taste to it so i checked it a couple places um milfoya cream can be sometimes spiked it almost tastes like this could be but yeah i mean it's good i am actually I'm, I'm more excited about some of the other sweet treats which is kind of disappointing for me because I was really excited about this, but it was still delicious. I am going to bag that up and have that also tomorrow for breakfast. Tomorrow for breakfast, I'm going to be having sugar overload. That is 100% for sure. This box definitely did not disappoint. It has some great flavors to it. My favorite treats on the sweet side, I have to admit, it was that pomegranate candy. That thing was delicious. I really wish I had more. I've only got three more and I'm already like mourning them. So... Those were delicious. On the savory slash salty side, um, definitely the breadsticks, uh, the, the pesto breadsticks. Those are delicious. I can't say there's anything I dislike in this box. Even the Turkish Delight, even though it's not my thing, I liked the taste. Again, that's just not my favorite consistency for a candy. I, I almost wish Turkish Delight was more of the consistency of those jelly candies, I prob I would have been all over that. If it was that flavor in that jelly consistency, I would be like, let's go. I would have eaten that whole box. But again, just not my thing. But yeah, I would say those are probably the two standouts for me. The only thing I did not, and it's rare that I don't like anything, the only thing I didn't like was the Mastic Rose Toffees. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to let other people try them, but I will not be eating any more of those. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.